Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Twitter has been awash with rumors that SEC Chairman Gary Gentler is resigning. John Deaton, an attorney who supports XRP, has commented on rumors saying that Gentler is likely to retire. In response to news that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will leave, attorney John Deaton offered his thoughts on the matter. Even if it is still just a rumor, Deaton believes it is likely that SEC Chair Gensler will resign for political reasons. Attorney John Deaton, who is acting as a friend of the court in the SEC's action against Ripple, has speculated that SEC Chief Gary Gensler may soon leave. Deaton dispelled a myth regarding the agency chair's post that was making the rounds on crypto Twitter. According to Deaton, a more peaceful exit from the Bitcoin market could occur before the upcoming election as a result of the SEC's recent crackdown on cryptocurrency exchanges and projects in the ecosystem. Nance and Coinbase, two of the primary exchanges in the cryptocurrency industry, have been sued by the banking regulator CCE in a court battle that has lasted over two years. The SEC found that nearly half of all cryptocurrencies were securities in the case, meaning that the exchanges were aiding the trading of unregistered securities. Investors in XRP are awaiting a verdict in a lawsuit against Ripple. According to Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinhouse, a verdict in the SEC vs. Ripple litigation is likely on August 10, and a summary judgment from Judge Annalisa Torres is expected in September. Fred Rispoli, an advocate of XRP and a lawyer, claims. Rispoli discovered this by observing how often Judge Torres gave summary judgments. As of this Monday's publication, the price of the cryptocurrency has remained stable at around 4,810 cents. As XRP maintains its optimistic upward trend, investors are keeping a close eye on the lawsuit and Ripple's future movements. The crypto industry is eagerly awaiting the conclusion of the case. Started by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission C2 against Ripple on July 2. A pro-XRP legal expert has presented more arguments in favor of the blockchain firm's side of the legal dispute. Bill Morgan, an attorney, tweeted, whether or not Ripple engaged in any other dishonest or illegal activity than the sale of unregistered securities that there was no injunction from the regulator and why. Mr. Huber, a prominent member of the Jewish community, and Mark Fago, a veteran SEC enforcement lawyer, were both present for the conversation. He went on to explain that investor protection is why the SEC allows Ripple to pursue actions that are blatantly illegal and harmful to investors even years after a case has been filed. Surely the SEC should have considered making an application. And he added the SEC would have to prove there is an investment contract when ODAL clients who don't own the token and don't anticipate profits trade XRP in a matter of seconds for low-cost international money transfers. After receiving a message from popular Bitcoin YouTuber Scott Melker, founding attorney John Deaton took to Twitter to discuss the ramifications of the summary judgment judgment in the sexy vs. Ripple litigation crypto legislation. Today, legal counsel Deaton responded with the following statement, Melker stated that if Americans don't stand up to the SEC's overreach on Bitcoin, Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum F, Litecoin Cash, and all other cryptocurrencies, we're all screwed. Wall Street-controlled exchanges will soon allow trading in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin Cash by CI. Melker mentioned how Gary Gensler of the SEC had previously categorized four crypto assets as commodities, while other tokens were categorized as securities. In Melker's opinion, these four digital currencies are the only ones traded on the X exchange, which is backed by major players in the financial industry. Attorney Deaton replied on Twitter that the post increased the importance of Judge Torres' decision. He elaborated that the status quo and a victory for crypto opponents like Warren Buffett and Rep. Brad Sherman would result from a court ruling against XRP. More influence in government. However, according to Deaton, if Judge Torres rules in favor of extra prom, the entire market and all crypto assets will profit. Meanwhile, the EC has stuck to its guns and continued to assert that it controls the whole Bitcoin sector. According to Gensler said, all crypto assets are securities unless they are Bitcoin. 
In response to his comments, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has begun a widespread crackdown on crypto-related firms, charging them with violating securities laws. Just last month, the SEC filed charges against Coinbase and Binance for allegedly encouraging the trade of unregistered securities like ADA, Solmatic, and Algo. The SEC's claim that XRP constitutes a security casts doubt on its secondary market trading, as you may recall. In particular, Judge Torres will rule on the subject of whether or not secondary market sales of additional shares count as securities. The SEC's stranglehold on the market could be loosened by the judge's ruling on whether or not XRP is a security. This ruling can be used as precedent by other token issuers to argue that their tokens are not securities. Concerns have been raised by the XRP community over the outcome of the Sexy vs Ripple case. The XRP community is eagerly awaiting the conclusion of the litigation and Judge Torres' announcement of the judgment. This identical topic was discussed in John Deaton's, the podcast's author and a practicing attorney, most recent episode of his Crypto Law podcast. Attorney Deaton refuted the notion that Judge Torres would continue to keep the parties in the dark regarding the summary judgment decision she rendered. How the summary judgment was announced has sparked much interest. Will she be calling Ripple and the SEC with the news? No. No way. And counsel for XR claims that Judge Torres will issue a summary judgment in the pending case, and Deaton is quoted as saying as much. According to Deaton, this ruling, like the court's previous ones, including Judge Torres' decision on the Dauber expert motion, will be made public. Like with the plane, we will have the documents entered into the public docket. In his emails and earlier rulings, the same man, Deaton, made it clear that all verdicts would be announced at the same time. The crypto law pioneer did not stress the possibility that the attorneys for Ripple and the SEC would receive an email with the ruling a few minutes before the general public did. The U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, where insider trading charges are frequently heard, is also familiar with the financial industry, as Deaton claims. Due to the potential for insider trading, the court will ensure that the outcome of the SEC's Ripple dispute is kept confidential. According to Deaton, as a result, the court's verdict won't be public knowledge until it's formally filed. Dayton's lawyer, in particular, has released a webcast in which he addresses certain concerns regarding the outcome of the case. Yesterday, it was revealed that Deaton had anticipated an appeal from the losing parties in the summary decision. He went so far as to imply the Supreme Court might take up the case. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.